I really just a super quick Steam Deck tutorial about how to get individual games that you've downloaded using the Heroic Games Launcher, probably because they're a, a Epic game or a GOG game or an Amazon game, but how to appear as an individual game um, on your install section. So we've got Cyberpunk here. So the version of Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk that I've got is from GOG. I downloaded it on the Heroic Games Launcher, but there's some other games as well. So I'm going to kind of show you how to how to do that. So you have to go into Heroic Games Launcher. Let's resume this. And then you go to the game that um, you want to add to Steam individually. Obviously, I could just start it from here, but that's a bit of a pain. So go into the game and then go up to the three little dots there and then go down and go to, go to Add to Steam. So select that. And what will happen is when you restart, it should then appear. But if we look now, probably it won't be there yet. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Yeah, it's not there yet. If we were to do a power restart, are you sure? What we should see is that when my Steam Deck restarts, we should see it here. So this is a you know a really cool way to get those games there. So they're easy and quick to access. It also helps you to remember what games... Um, you've got installed as well because if you're anything like me i keep a bdi on the epics game store you know every week what's the free game add it to my library um same with um amazon or well um twitch prime gaming isn't it you know if you're a member of amazon prime you get loads of free games through that always keep an eye on that always keep an eye on um and and through Amazon Prime Game, actually, you've then you've got Amazon games that can be free, or sometimes they're Steam games, or sometimes they're GOG games, or sometimes they're Epic games. Um, and in fact, my Epic library is bigger <laughs> than my Steam library because I've been getting the free games for probably a couple of years now. Even before I had a gaming PC, I would keep an eye on the Epic Game Store, and I highly recommend anybody does. Even if you haven't got a gaming PC. Create an Epic account and every week go over and check the free game and just add it there. So there we go. So if we now go into our library and then go into non-Steam, there we go. Rise of the Tomb Raider has now appeared and I can select it as a individual game and uh, and just play it. Or maybe I might need to go into the settings and change something, but it's all there nice and easy. Okay, so hopefully that's been useful. If it has, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And of course, I'll see you again soon.